I've met some very religious people throughout my life. If you will look at most of them, they are unmistakably Christians. They are in church every Sunday. They attend midweek services and prayer meetings. They display the right behavior and say all the right things. Kung yan ang sukatan ng pagiging kristyano, ah, pasado. Uh, these people might even get very high marks. If there is a contest for who appears most Christian-like, they might be in the running for the top prize. But religion is so much more than just going to church or attending prayer meetings. Uh, they are important to be sure, but if we will take a look at what the Bible says, there are particular kinds of activities that the Bible seems to say are better predictors of who a Christian is. We find this in the New Testament, in the letter written by James. James actually laid it out very bluntly. This is what he said. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. James uh, takes issue with people who have the appearance of holiness, but whose lives do not express the love, compassion, and mercy that should come naturally to people who love Jesus. James leaves no room for a faith that takes no action. Faith has consequences. This is what James must be saying. James contends that faith without works is dead. Religion that does not result in attending to the needs of the helpless, like the orphans and the widows during the time of James, um, it falls short of what may be considered pure religion. If we are followers of Jesus, then the practice of our faith or religion that is pure and undefiled is a direct action to help people with the greatest of needs. Therefore, let us take time to show concern for those who most need our help. If you have relatives who have been widowed, uh, check them out every once in a while. Find out what they need. Be ready to help out the best way you can. You may have nieces and nephews or even grandchildren who have been orphaned. Take them under your wings if your situation allows it. Be a parent to those who no longer have parents. Also, consider visiting the widows and widowers in a home for the aged. They need a little cheering up. Or how about throwing a party at an orphanage? Oh, those kids would love it. Also, if your heart is into it, why not consider adopting an orphan? You will completely transform the life of at least one child. As you consider making your life available to tend to the needs of widows and orphans, and as we learn to practice religion that is pure and undefiled, always keep in mind, faith matters too.